Now, let's talk about equivalent fractions. What are equivalent fractions? Well, equivalent fractions are fractions that have different numerators and denominators, but are equal to the same value. For example, one second is half, and two over four is half, three over six is half, and four over eight is half as well. Let's see how it is possible. Each box in here is of the same size, but it is divided into different number of pieces. The first box is divided into two equal pieces, and one piece is shaded, so the shaded portion represents one second of the whole. The second box has four equal pieces, but two pieces are shaded, so the shaded portion represents two four. But it is still half of a box. The third box has six equal pieces, but three pieces are shaded, so the shaded portion represents three six. And again, it is still half of a box. Finally, the last box has eight equal pieces, but four pieces are shaded, so the shaded portion represents four eighths, and again, it is still half of a box. As we just saw, all fractions here have different numerators and denominators, but are equal to the same value. And also, did you notice that the greater the denominator, the smaller the pieces are, and the more pieces are in a whole? Let's practice. In the first set of circles, we have two circles shaded out of a total of eight circles. If we look closer, we will also notice that we have four columns of two circles, and the first column has all the circles shaded. So we can also write this fraction as one shaded column out of four total columns, or one-fourth. What about the second set of circles? We have six circles, shaded out of a total of nine circles. If we look closer, we will also notice that we have three rows of three circles, and the first and second row has all the circles shaded, so we can also write this fraction as two shaded rows out of three total rows, or two-thirds. Wait, if we have fractions that have different numerators and denominators, but are equal to the same value, would it be easier to write, for example, one-half rather than two over four? Yes, this is what should be done, and this is called fraction simplification, or reduction. You can do it by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by the same number.